Hey, my name is Destiny. I am a second year sociology major here at Cal State East Bay. Um, honestly, for me, going into college was like going to a country I've never been before with no plan and not being able to speak the language. <laughs> That's honestly what it was like for me. I am a first generation student. You know, none of my family or any of my friends before me had gone to college. So I really didn't know what to expect. You know, I didn't have any advice or anything. And, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm a little stubborn. I'm going to call that independent. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to ask for help coming into college. And I honestly, something I wish I knew and realized sooner was um, just how much East Bay wants you to succeed. You know, East Bay wants to help you. I ha we have so many different services here, like the SCA, which is our Student Center for Academic Achievement. I really wish I went to them sooner. You know, they really helped me with my essays and uh, a few other subjects. They helped me figure out what works and what doesn't for me when it comes to papers. And that's honestly was extremely helpful. It improved my grades so much. Um, and also, I came in as a freshman, and as a freshman, you take a foundation of success class and in there is a pack which is a peer academic coach and honestly i wish i utilized mine sooner she helped me with so much she helped me with um, time management and um, figuring out my schedule and everything like that so when we moved to online um, learning it really helped the um, transition go a lot smoother so yeah if you're anything like me um Please know that East Bay is there for us. You know, East Bay wants us to succeed. Anyone and everyone in the community is, you know, we're like a family. We want to help each other out. So please keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, welcome to East Bay and I'll see you around. Hi everyone, my name's Kim. I'm a second year bio major with a concentration in microbiology and biomedical lab. So we're living through unprecedented times right now, especially living through this pandemic, which has led us to remote learning. And it's okay to be upset, to be scared, and to be worried about what's going to be happening in the future. Especially as a bio major, I was concerned about how I was going to be able to do labs online and whether or not I'd be able to intake the information my professor was lecturing about through a computer screen. But our professors are very understanding and know what we're going through. My professors were able to contact and communicate with me through Zoom sessions, through Blackboard discussions, and through email to answer any questions I may have had. And I also took it upon myself to stay ahead and check Blackboard religiously to make sure I was, you know, on top of the assignments that I had and to know and study for any of the upcoming tests that I may have been assigned in the future. I also took it upon myself to reach out to my fellow students um, and contact the friends that I made on previous semesters and just check up on them and, you know, ask them how they're doing, whether or not they're, you know, in taking the material and just feeling connected and staying connected with someone outside my own family. And I hope that you all have a great fall semester and hopefully we'll be able to see each other soon in person. Go Pioneers! Hi all, my name is Leilani. I'm a second year here at Cal State East Bay. I'm a political science and international studies major and I'm from Los Angeles, California. So when coming to East Bay, I thought everything was going to be picture perfect, smooth sailing, basically peaches and creams. Um, the picture I'm trying to paint in your head is that I thought everything was going to be amazing. Not saying it wasn't, it was great. My first year here at Cal State East Bay was probably one of the best years in my life. And I made so many memories with so many different individuals and it was amazing. But with all those great positive experiences I had, I had obstacles in my life. I had things I was dealing with and one of the things I was dealing with or going through was food insecurities and financial insecurities. Basically for me, they went hand in hand. There was times I didn't have money to buy certain necessities for myself. I didn't have money for food. I couldn't, there was days I just couldn't like do it anymore. Like I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And I finally built up the courage. I don't know after what was coming to me, but I built up the courage to talk to a friend um, and then another friend and it was just a couple friends of mine that have been here for years and they all told me 
basically the same thing, almost the same thing. They all told me East Bay is here to serve us, the students. We are their main focus. And that has stuck to, with me ever since. And I find it crazy how that is probably gonna stick with me till I graduate and beyond this point. With all that being said, they also mentioned one resource that I was able to use a lot during my first year here in college, which was the Hope Pantry. The Hope Pantry stands for Helping Our Pioneers Excel. And the Hope Pantry is basically a place where students can go and get food, no questions asked, no nothing. You do not have to pay for anything. This is all food being donated to the school or to the Hope Pantry for us. And it was honestly the best thing ever because it helped me understand and know that there's resources out there for me and for people that were going through the same thing that I was going through or just needed something, a snack or anything, and were too afraid to ask. They will not ask any questions. They are literally here for us. And that's something that I really just wanted to talk about and mention that the Hope Pantry is amazing and helped me and can definitely help you in the upcoming year if you ever go through something that you need food or you want to apply to CalFresh, they'll be there to help you. So just know that the Hope Pantry is always there to help you. Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm a fifth year human development major with an option in adolescent development. Um, so I didn't really understand the importance of mental health coming into East Bay. I was poorly educated on the whole topic of it. So having my episodes, um, I thought they were pretty normal considering many college students have them, like the stereotypical version that I had known. Um, but my friends had kind of told me like, no, this isn't normal. Um, so they had told me to go into the counseling center. And at first I was really skeptic about it just because I don't really like talking about my personal life to somebody I don't know, which is really normal in all students. Um, however, I do really appreciate the counseling center just because they're extremely patient with you. They really wait until you're ready to talk and they're just here to sit down, listen, give you great skills on how to deal with all the episodes or like the anxiety texts that you might get. So I really do appreciate that. And I'm really appreciative of all the counselors at East Bay and really all the services that are available at the counseling center, whether that be uh, the doctors available, the food pantry, as well as our counselors. Can't express that enough. Um, I do really want to go into a field really similar. Um, I want to be a licensed clinical social worker. So I'm excited to help people as much as the counseling services did for me.